Hey, welcome back to Willie Farms Homestead. We are glad you are here. We are going to be talking about potatoes today and what kind of fertilizer they need and what they need at this growth stage. And these are the potatoes right behind me. I don't have a lot. I've got a four by eight bed, but we're going to see how many potatoes we can get out of that. All right, the potato requires fertilizer. Uh, if you're getting fertilizer, you'll see a label on there, N, P, and K. That's the first three numbers on any fertilizer is gonna be. The first is nitrogen. Nitrogen is gonna help support leaf growth, stem growth of the plant. And it stimulates the chlorophyll. So all plants need that. All plants need all three, but some plants need more of some of the essential elements of the fertilizer. All right, the next number is phosphorus that's on your fertilizer. That promotes good root growth. It promotes cell division and growth in the plant. It will strengthen your plant. And an example, if you wanna add some of these would be like uh, bone meal and rock phosphate. And that will be the P if you wanna separate that out. Bone meal is pretty re readily available at a lot of the uh, nurseries and home garden centers. The next one in that one, the last one, the third one, is potassium. That helps the plant produce certain enzymes. It helps the plant to fight against diseases and pests. It also regulates CO2 intake of the plant, and it influences plant health and vigor. So all three of those are essential for all plants. Now, root plants require more phosphorus and more potassium. The phosphorus promotes root growth, and since this is a root crop, it's gonna be a little more important that it gets that. So, if you're using a regular fertilizer on your potatoes and other root crops, probably a 5-10-10 or a 5-15-15 would be a good general purpose fertilizer. If you're using a fertilizer like a 5-5-5 or something like that, you can add the phosphorus by adding bone meal. And it does not take much to read the directions on that label. So that tells you a little bit about growing potatoes and other root crops because that same fertilizer will work on all root crops. And what we're doing is just trimming this stem off that's coming up, that's holding this flower. Gonna take it right off. Now, I would not recommend you feeding these to your chickens or your goats or any other animals in your farm. I would throw these on your compost pile. Uh, potatoes are a member of the nightshade family. And the top portion of this potato is actually slightly poisonous and you do not want to consume anything, consume anything that is above ground on a potato. So we're gonna just trim these off here. It's a pretty little flower, but it's taken away from our potatoes. We don't want that, we wanna eat the potatoes. So the more potatoes they are, the more we get to eat and can and freeze and maybe save some of them for sheep potatoes. We're just gonna trim all those off that we find. And they will compost just fine. I mean, if I had 50 pounds of them, uh, I might do something different. I wouldn't put them all in one pile, maybe, but I don't think they will hurt anything. Nip those things out. And that's about all of them it looks like right now. Now, no more will come back uh, a little later and we'll have to come back and probably trim some more off because some of these are just starting to produce flowers. So. We'll have to keep an eye open on them. But 
but they don't bloom constantly. So once you trim these things off of one plant, off of one stalk of the plant, that stalk shouldn't produce any more flowers. I believe I'm right on that. And if you happen to miss a few of these blooms, it's not going to destroy your potato crop or anything. Just that plant may not produce hardly a big, as big of a potato. I can't remember doing this when I was younger, when we grew up on the farm here, uh, trimming these, and we had plenty of potatoes anyway. But if I can get a little bit more production, I'm gonna try it. So that's what we're gonna do today. Now this is the first time I have trimmed potatoes, but it's been the first time I've grown potatoes in several years, so. And one reason I'm putting these videos on, not because I'm any kind of expert at all on any of this, but if I know something, we need to pass it along. If you know something that most people don't know, you need to pass that along to others so they can pass it down. People aren't born knowing this stuff, so you learn it through trial and error or through others teaching you. Uh, the trial and error method is okay, and you tend to remember that, but it's a little bit shorter process if you can listen to somebody that has done this and learn from what they have learned. And I think food preparedness is essential, especially in this day and time, because there are possible shortages coming in our future of food. And uh, there's no sense if you have a way to do that to prepare, either put up food that you purchase from a farmer or a grocery or grow it. I happen to have enough land and opportunities and enough knowledge to get by to grow some of these crops and put them up for storage. So that's what we're going to do. We'll talk some more about these potatoes later. At this stage, they're in growth. The leaves will start to uh, not grow as quickly now. We will trim the flowers back and have it put more energy into developing those potatoes, which is the part of the plant we want to eat. So remember, count your blessings every day. And I really believe you will find you're, you are blessed well beyond measure. I know I am. We'll see you later. Bye from Willie Farms.